Hi, scatters of the Northeast region. Your regional director, Don McChesney. I'm, uh, I'm here today to do a couple of things. I wanted to thank you for what has been a fantastic year. I also wanted to thank you for uh, what I know is going to be a fantastic future in membership growth in the Northeast. We have a couple of councils that have already gone over uh, for this year. I, I'd like to acknowledge who they are. And, but mo most important, I'd like to say to you that in each of these councils that have already shown a plus, and in every other council in the North re Northeast region, there are individuals that have shown pluses. And I'll, I'll touch on it again in just a second, but on January 19th, when we all come together at our All Hands Planning Conference, we're gonna have you walking across the stage and we're going to acknowledge the efforts that you have put in and what you have done this year. But let's go back for a second and talk about those Boy Scout councils that have already achieved a plus for this year. In Greenwich, Connecticut, they continue to grow the program there and Greenwich is showing a plus. Wilmington, Delaware, I believe that uh, Jason and his team are sitting now at somewhere around three years in a row of membership growth. Congratulations, Wilmington, Delaware. Mark Barbonitz, he's a guy I wanted to talk to you briefly about because Mark did something unusual but was available to all of us. You see, Mark took the business plan of the Boy Scouts of America as it related to membership growth and he did it exactly as he was supposed to do it. And as a result, in Mason-Dixon Council, they went over year-end membership now two months ago. They knocked it off in October, following the national plan of rocketing into scouting. I would also want to uh, acknowledge that Tom's River in New Jersey is showing a plus. And uh, that, that Boy Scout Council that isn't attached to the United States, but floats out there on this beautiful island called Puerto Rico, also has attained a membership gain this year. Maria Molinari, thank you. And thank you to your team. Uh, you guys are just fantastic. Now let me go back a second then to that Atlantic City planning conference that we've got coming up. My hope, my prayer, is that we'll all be able to get together, share ideas, plan in local councils, and also on a regional level, how we in 2016 are gonna knock it out of the park. I look forward to seeing you all the 19th to the 23rd of January, and uh, even more specific, having a great time together in a planning conference format. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Al Lambert for his remarks related to the National Growth Program of the Boy Scouts of America. Thanks for that introduction, and I'm excited to be with you here today to talk about our 2016 growth plan. Within that growth plan, we've got four focus areas that we're gonna concentrate on for 2016. They are build an adventure, exploring explosion, a focus on units, in a new category called pilots. Let me take a minute and tell you a little bit about each of those programs. The first one is Build an Adventure and that one you're going to be most familiar with. Build an Adventure focuses on our Cub Scout recruiting efforts across America and what we've done over the last couple of years is identify some best methods and best practices that you can use in your councils and districts to serve and recruit more Cub Scouts. Many of you that have heard me talk have talked about how we wouldn't have any problems in the Boy Scouts if we didn't find a million more Cub Scouts. This program is designed at making sure that we recruit more and more Cubs every year. The second one is the Exploring Explosion. Over 200 councils are already signed up and, and participating in the webinars and programs that are part of our Exploring Explosion. We've got a great opportunity with our largest market the teenage market, and all the opportunities that exist out there in business around workforce development. When we bring, that, when we, when we bring together the 
the expertise of our councils, the energy of our boards, our district volunteers, together on behalf of our teenagers, we're going to explode the number of opportunities that are available for our teenagers in businesses and in exploring programs across our districts. The third one is, is units. This is also one that's not new to any of us that have been doing this. We put our kids into packs, troops, and crews, posts, whatever it is, that's the unit that we organize around. And we know that in order to grow, we have to keep the units that we have, and we have to find new chartered partners to extend scouting in the community. So we're going to be launching programs that are focused on helping us retain the units that we have and to identify new chartered partners so that we can grow new units across districts and councils and everywhere across America. The fourth one is a fun category called pilots. Many of us have been talking about this category for, for a number of years. This is an, an avenue where we get to combine scouting's values and the things that we do real well in our core traditional programs with your markets and maybe a little bit of a non-traditional way to extend those values. While we don't have the rules and regulations and guidelines for this category set quite yet, when you see them, what we're going to do is try to figure out those programs that you're doing using scouting's programs in the community that may not be traditional, figure out how to get those up, take a look at them, and figure out which ones are replicable across the country so that we can serve more kids in neighborhoods and communities and, and families that we don't necessarily reach into right now. So that pilot one is, is real interesting and uh, look, look for some more guidelines here soon. How do we pull this all together? Well, we've, we're going to introduce a new program called the National Growth Conference. Sometime the first couple of weeks, middle of April, we're going to get everybody together in a grand web-based broadcast where we're going to be able to share best practices, recognize some of you for the great job that you've done in 2015, and maybe call out some of you that have got some of these great innovative ideas that we're going to look into. We're going to learn about the hopes and dreams of your districts and your councils. We're going to combine those together into this web-based program where we're going to know where the Boy Scouts of America is going to go. We're going to ask you to set some goals in each one of these areas. An, an expectation for where you, what, what you want to do, how many kids you want to recruit, and maybe some aspirational goals, some dreams about where you want to go. We're going to pull those together by area, and at the end of that evening, we're going to know where the Boy Scouts of America is going to go when, it, when we talk about Cub Scouts, Explorers, Units, and maybe some of these fun new pilot programs. We're going to have an idea of how quickly we can bring our movement back to growth. So we've got some work to do right now. You're sitting at a staff planning conference or in a staff meeting right now, and there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to know our market. We need to set a plan to grow, especially around each one of these four areas. We need to make sure they link into your council's membership plan, and then we need to dream. We need to get excited about reaching more kids in more parts of our councils, and we need to then set the plan and go. I'm going to introduce our chief scout executive right now, Mike Serbaugh, who is our greatest champion of growth. Mike's going to share with you some of his thoughts on where we're going in 2016. I thank you for this opportunity, and I look forward to working with you as we grow our movement. Thanks. My fellow professionals, welcome to 2016. Today marks the day that together we change the course of the future for the Boy Scouts of America. It's been too long that we've seen year after year where our membership is not where we want it to be at year end. Where we want it to be is growing because we know that the program of scouting is transformational for young people. What each of you do is important. What each of you do matters. What each of you do this year matters the most. For 2016 is the year that we tell America, we're here, we're back, we're big, and we're not leaving. We're going to be in your face, we're going to be growing, because it's our time. Can you feel it? Can you feel the energy? It's across the country. We are lighting a fire and scouting, and you heard today about the four components of our growth plan for next year. 
this year in 2016, next year in 2017, the year after in 2018, we will be growing. You will see a three-year explosion of scouting. You're going to be a part of that. I'm going to be a part of that. Together, we will grow this movement. Join me, and let's move forward in 2016 and make this a year we will never forget.